the super couple too. After having their backs to the wall in their battle against the vicious villain, Rizmund Laser, Chester and Arya fought hand in hand to defeat him, quite literally. The super couple chose to take a small sabbatical. They wished to break free from all the chaos and enjoy time as a regular couple. Chester and Arya welcomed the superhero fame. Fans would swarm them to get selfies and signed autographs at grocery stores, malls, and movie theaters. Chester's face was on billboards, and Arya's face was on water bottles, lunch boxes, and t-shirts. Life was great for a while. At first, it was all friendly and flaunty. Soon, there was a tiny rivalry brewing between the two. They started getting competitive about who had more fans and brands. Chester had a ketchup flavor named after him. Fireman Flame Hot Sauce, extra spicy. Arya's action figures were sold out at all toy stores. Barbie dolls were a thing of the past. Young girls loved Ice Woman action figures. They were cool. One afternoon, as Arya plopped down on the bed to read a book, she was startled by a squelching noise. She found herself sitting on Chester's wet towel. Arya was livid. Ew, disgusting. This is the fifth time in the month. When will this man grow up? Ah, home sweet home. Hi, wife. Chester, how many times do I have to remind you to dry your wet towel? Look at this mess. Oh, come on, love. It's just a little water. Here, let me pick it up for you. That's not the point. It's common courtesy. Basic manners, Chester. You don't live in a dorm with flatmates. It's not the end of the word, Arya. It's just a wet towel. Will you lighten up a bit? Lighten up? Maybe I should throw my damp bathrobe on your side of the bed and shrug my shoulders like it's no big deal. Chester and Arya had been nagging each other for weeks now. They realized fighting crime was a lot easier than being married. Another time, Chester walked into the kitchen. Fire bazooka! Pow! Boom! Oh, your majesty, finally, you've graced us with your presence. Did you have a nice vacation from dish duty, hubby? Vacation? What's got you all fired up, ice woman? Take a wild guess, Sherlock. You can't keep neglecting chores. It's your turn. Oops, I guess I got caught up in my own little world. Your own little world? So tell me, in this magical little world of yours, do the dishes clean themselves with soap and water and align back into the rack? If only cutlery were so disciplined. <laughs> I promise I'll make it up to you. How about I take you out for dinner tonight? Oh, so now you're trying to bribe me with food, huh? Nice try. Just do the dishes, Chester. Honey, it's not like that. Come on. I'm only trying to cool you down. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's not funny. What a child. The next day, Chester found something to complain about. La, 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 la. Well, well, look who turned the bathroom into a swimming pool. Very funny, Chester. It's my new shampoo, and I always unclog the drain. Why are you being mean? Ha, huh. you've developed some selective memory. This happened two days back. Oh, please. Like you've never caused any washroom disasters with your painful bathroom singing. Thank you very much. But you weren't talking about my vocal talents here. We're talking about your hair causing a deluge of disastrous proportions. Okay, okay, I messed up. I got carried away with my hair care routine. And you were overreacting, mister. Well, next time, be careful. 
I'm tired of mopping up bathroom floods. Chester fell guilty for shouting at Arya. He proposed to cook dinner, while Arya cleaned up the drain with a plunger. This is annoying. How about I just freeze this water? Then I can break chunks of ice and throw it out. Ice power! What just happened? Oh no! Chester! Meanwhile, Chester struggled with the vegetable stew. The recipe was testing his patience. This slow pot cooks the stew at a snail's pace. How about I just... Fire power! Wait a minute. Oh no, Arya! Chester and Arya ran toward each other, all panicked. <sighs> I, need I need to, to tell, tell you something. something. I, I have, have your, your powers. powers. How is this even possible? Honey, remember the night we fought Rismond Laser? Yeah? Oh no! Somehow, our powers got exchanged when we used them together. Arya, I have no idea how to control ice. I'm fireman, not ice cream man. Well, newsflash, I don't know how to control fire, but I do know someone who is an expert. What? Who? Who? I know him well. Who? Who is it? He is in the room with us right now. Where? Who? Oh, me. <laughs> I'm Fireman. I mean, I used to be. Ahem. Who? Who? My husband has turned into an owl. This is going to be great. <sighs> Chester and Arya decided to help each other harness their powers. They had to learn and learn fast. Before a new threat arose, they wore each other's costumes and got prepared to give each other a crash course on how it is like to have their respective powers. Gosh, this suit is a little tight for me. You've put on a little weight. Oh, nonsense. I'm still in my 20s physique. Yeah, 29. Say hello to 30 already. Okay, honey. To control fire, you need to channel your rage. Shut your eyes. Take a deep breath and imagine a flame. Okay, I'm imagining you not doing laundry. Ha! That should work. Look! Chester! I did it! It worked! You are a natural disaster, darling. Grrr! Firepower! Whoa! Slow down my fire-breathing dragon. Man, that is so cool. I could never do that. Jeez, honey, so much rage. That explains why you've been burning with anger these past few months. Arya demolished the targets with a stupid aim. Chester was rather impressed. That felt good. Ha, huh, now your turn. Okay, honey, the key to controlling ice is that you have to keep a cool head. First, you need to learn how to freeze water. Got it. Cool head. Freeze water. See that lake over there? Let me know when you are... ready? I was born ready, baby. Ice power! <laughs> baby, did you see that? Not bad, huh? Nice. Ha. Mm, Iceman. Ha. Get it? Woohoo! I'm so cool. Burr, and I'm freezing. Ha ha. You are new to this. You'll get used to it. I'll teach you some deep breathing exercises to strengthen your core. 
And suddenly, their super watches started beeping, alarming them of a new threat over the city. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. We got to go. Iceman and Firewoman. The new and improved super couple charged to the city. Are you seeing what I'm seeing too? It looks like a really angry, strong kaiju, baby. I'm Muscle Media. Gaga Goo! our plan of attack I have a plan attack Ga -ga -goo -goo. Aria a little heads up would be great sorry I got drawn to the heat of battle Chester duck I don't get it it's like someone mixed a lot of protein powder in his baby formula. Hey, smart Alec. You have any bright ideas? I have one. Distract him. Make it chase you towards the sea. Draw him away from the city as far away as you can. I'll flank him. Come get me, you monstrosity. Arya turned her human torch mode on. Her blazing form was so bright that it dazzled Muscle Mania, and he started chasing her wildly. She zapped across and flew over the city. And deep through the wide expanse of the sea, Muscle Mania didn't let up either. Little did he know that he fell into the super couple's trap. Iceman swooped in and... Ice power! Freakies, you are grounded. Gaga goo goo. We make an ace team. We sure do, honey. And just like that, Iceman and Firewoman saved the day. While Chester and Arya saved their marriage. <laughs>